Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of digital dentistry and exploring how to choose the best 3D printer for your clinic or laboratory, okay? Whether you are a seasoned professional or just starting out, this comprehensive guide will help you make an informed decision. Let's get started. First, uh, let's talk about the different types of 3D printing technologies available for dental applications, okay? The three main uh, types are SLA, DLP, and LCD, okay? Each has its strength and weakness, of course. Mm -hmm. And understanding these differences is crucial for selecting the right printer for your needs. Uh, the SLA, stereolithography, uses a laser to cure liquid resin into solid parts. It's known for its high precision and smooth surface finish, making it ideal for detailed dental models like crowns, bridges, and orthodontic appliances. Okay, the precision of stereolithography. Uh, printers ensures that even the smallest details are captured, which is crucial for creating accurate dental restorations, of course. Additionally, uh, SLA printers can produce models with intricate geometries and complex structures, making them perfect for dental applications that require high accuracy. But uh, the only bad thing about the stereolithography printers, they are uh, they are getting more time to, to get your print, of course. And then let's talk about the DLP or digital light processing. Uses a digital light projector to cure an entire layer of resin at once. This makes it faster than SLA while maintaining high precision. Perfect for, for it's it's perfect choice for high volume uh, production. Uh, DLP printers are particularly beneficial and uh, beneficial for uh, busy dental laboratories. Okay, that need uh, to produce multiple models quickly without compromising on quality. They also offer, offer uh, a wider range of freezing options, including biocompatible materials, making them suitable for a variety of dental applications. So uh, me personally, I prefer this technology. And we have the LCD or liquid uh, crystal display uses an LCD screen to mask an image of the layer of the layer curing the resin with ultraviolet light. It's a cost effective and efficient. Suitable for smaller clinics with moderate production needs. Uh, LCD printers offer a good balance between cost and performance, making them an excellent choice for practices looking to adopt 3D printing technology without a significant upfront investment. They also have a lower leaning curve, um, making them easier to integrate into existing workflows. Next, uh, let's discuss uh, resolution and accuracy. For dental applications, it's important to choose a 3D printer with a resolution of at least uh, uh, 50 microns, you know, in the XY plane, of course. This level of precision ensures the, that the printer can capture the fine details necessary for creating highly accurate dental models and uh, restorations. So, uh, however, if your needs are less focused on extreme detail, a printer with uh, 95 microns XY resolution can still be effective for many dental applications uh, for example, study models or provisional restorations, etc. And we have the layer thickness, which affects surface smoothness, um, should be between 25 100 microns. High resolution and thin layer, layers ensure that your dental models are precise, uh, precise and have a smooth finish which is crucial for patient 
patient uh, satisfaction. It's also essential to consider the printer's accuracy as it directly affects uh, the fit and function of the final restoration. Now, uh, so I can say that the high resolution and thin layers ensure that your dental models or your appliances are precise and have a smooth finish, which is crucial for patient satisfaction. Of course, when choosing a printer, just always check the specifications for both XY resolution and layer thickness to ensure it meets your needs, okay? Additionally, look for printers with uh, advanced calibration systems which can help maintain accuracy and consistency throughout uh, the printing process. And uh, next we have the build volume is another important factor. Ensure the printer can accommodate the size of uh, the models or your prints you plan to produce. A larger build volume allows you to print multiple models simultaneously, increasing efficiency, you know? For example, uh, if you frequently produce full arc models or multiple aligner, aligners, a larger build volume will save you time and increase your productivity. Consider the maximum build size as well as the printer's ability to print multiple models at once to ensure it meets your production needs. Uh, and uh, then we have the, the material compatibility also is okay, I know. Look for printers that support biocompatible resins essential for applications like surgical guides, crowns, bridges, uh, so all of that, it's okay, no? And you have the versatility in resin options allows you to expand your service offerings. For instance, having access to a range of resins means you can produce everything from diagnostic models to final restorations all with the same printer. It's a very important point. Consider the types of resins you plan to use and ensure the printer is compatible with them. And then we have the speed and efficiency are crucial also, especially for high volume production. Uh, I think the DLP uh, digital light processing printers are generally faster because they cure an entire layer at once. Also consider the time and equipment needed for post-processing, like washing and curing. Uh, and efficient post-processing workflows can significantly reduce turnaround times and improve overall productivity. Look for printers with uh, automated post-processing features maybe, uh, such as built-in watching and curing systems to streamline your, your workflow. And also the user-friendly uh, software or uh, cloud, of course. Uh, I prefer the printers including the cloud. And uh, the workflow uh, integration are fatal. Okay, ensure the printer's software or cloud is intuitive and compatible with your existing CAD CAM systems. This will streamline your workflow and reduce the need for additional software or anything like that. Look for features like automatic support generation, print optimization and uh, seamless integration with your digital workflow. Uh, to consider all of this, uh, the software or the cloud's ability to import and export various file formats, as well as its compatibility with your existing dental uh, software. I don't know, like Exocat, uh, 3Shape, I don't know. Then we have uh, the reliability and support are essential. Choose a reputable brand known for producing reliable printers and offering excellent customer support, okay? 
good technical uh, support and training can make a big difference. When evaluating a printer, consider the manufacturer's reputation, the availability of spare parts, and uh, the quality of their customer service. So look for manufacturers that offer comprehensive training programs, online resources, and dedicated support teams to ensure you get the most out of your printer. And uh, finally, consider the cost and return on investment. Factor in uh, the initial investment operational costs and uh, how quickly the printer will pay for itself through increased efficiency and uh, productivity, excuse me. Uh, so calculate the cost per print, including resin, maintenance, and the potential downtime, and uh, to get a clear picture of the total cost of ownership, okay? Consider the printer's lifespan uh, as well as the cost of replacement parts and maintenance to ensure you are making a smart investment for your practice, okay? And uh, now to recap the 3D printer for your dental practice, consider the printing technology, resolution and accuracy, the build volume, Material compatibility, speed and efficiency, software or cloud and workflow integration, reliability and support, and uh, cost and return on investment. By carefully evaluating these factors, you can select a printer that meets your needs and enhances your practice's capabilities. Okay? So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, mm. please like, share and subscribe for more tips on digital dentistry. And if you have any question, uh, leave them in the comments below. See you next time. Dr. Ahmed Misaudi was with you.